What is going on? Yeah, it's your boy Takeo here. Bring you guys a $50 money game, I think this was. Because I'm pretty sure I had beat him the first game and rematch with 50 Something like that. I know it's around the range. It's somewhere around that. Um, excuse me if the quality is kind of bad. Because um, I was streaming this game. But this was definitely a game that I had to bring you guys. Because this was ups and downs and twists and turns and a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> But I hope everybody's having a good weekend. And I have a weekend deal for you guys. Um my ebooks will be ten dollars, all of them, and then the combo will be um sixteen dollars. So the regular ebooks will be ten dollars, the combo will be sixteen dollars, so like you're getting a crazy deal. And it's only for this weekend guys. Cause I feel like you guys been sticking with me, you know, you've been liking the videos, you guys been commenting and just showing me a lot of love. Also, I have an update to the Office of God. I was running the Office of God this game. Um, it's a bunch of formations, but I ran like three formations mainly this whole game. But I will show you guys, you know, like flipping routes with this little rocket catch. Like, it's crazy. Um, I also have goal line fades, like down there, how to like score, like on the goal line. Like, not just regular fade, but it's like really tough, yo. So, you guys definitely gonna want to have that. You guys are gonna like this offensive update, like, for real. So, we come out, hit him with a nice read option. I thought we was going to take it to the crib, but Russell Wilson kind of got burnt out. So, we just running the ball, Marshawn feeding him. He had the Cardinals. Cardinals is not a bad team. Honestly, I think it's Seahawks, Niners, Cardinals, to be honest. Like, you could put, like, the Seahawks, Niners, you could switch that. That's a bad play call right there. But Seahawks, Niners, then I think maybe the Cardinals come in third. Maybe the Broncos, but Broncos has a mobile quarterback, you know. Broncos do not have a mobile quarterback, I mean. So, some people don't like to play without a mobile. You don't really need a mobile this year, but give me that pick. You don't really need a mobile this year, but, I mean, it does help if you have one. You know, maybe a third and five, nothing's open. You just scramble for the first down. So, you never know. Having a mobile definitely helps you all, but, I mean, just because you don't have a mobile don't mean you can't win. Because I played with the Broncos a couple of times. So, right here, I just started passing the ball, doing dumb stuff, not making no read. So, I'm on fourth down right now, and I'm sitting here, and look, this guy... He kind of, well, it wasn't bad what he did. He was kind of lurking the X route, but I wasn't really looking at him, to be honest. I don't think I was looking at him, at least, but we ended up just running for the first down. And right now, we fumbled the ball out of bounds, so luckily we didn't fumble that. And right there, I should have handed it off to the running back, yo, but we messed up. But we cut him with a freaking curl route by a tight end. Curl route just kind of held this year. And then we had no timeouts. We about to hit him with a corner route, but we rolled out too far, and then we almost got sacked, which would have been stupid. So, 17-7, going into halftime, unless he returns his kick return. But yeah, I've definitely been streaming a lot, guys, so follow my stream. It's twitch.tv backslash takeaway46 all together. And you guys will definitely catch money game, catch live action, me playing some money, maybe here and there, but I definitely play a lot of money games and just trying to play com competitive games, you know. So, 17-7, this is when he comes out just kind of playing stupid. Like, he's just basically trying to throw face catches. Which is not stupid. Like, I know how to face catch literally 100% of the time. Like, no lie. I played with the Lions, like, a good 10 games. And, like, they're really nice. And we drop pick right there. Just imagine throwing up rocket catches to Calvin Johnson and to Pettigrew. I mean, Ebron. But, yeah, he broke the press right there. Some random wide receiver. If he's or not a random, excuse me, but I've never heard of that dude before. He just breaks the press. Like, what? So... As you can see, fourth and one or fourth and two right here. And as you can see, I'm going through my playbook, guys. You guys see it's Eagles playbook, but it's so much in my offense. It's just so much I can do, yo. Like run, pass. Like, it's just so much. So I had um a wide open at the end, but that was the worst read I ever made, yo. That was definitely a Zeddy read. <laughs> like that was a bad read, and we got away with it, so we ain't complaining. But that was the only bad read I made all game, which could definitely be corrected, you know. So, we're driving down the field right now. We're just trying to get a touchdown because I don't know I want to get three. I want a touchdown. Like, give me a touchdown and this game is done. Unless some fluke stuff pops off. So, send the A-gap at me. I'm sitting there mashing the RB button, yo. Mashing it. But right there, we run to Barack Wilson and we take off. We hit him with a nice little hurdle. It's the showboat. I'm getting tight. So, right about now, he has, what, 140 to drive down the field. And we drop a pick with Sherman. Like, that cannot happen, yo. The game's supposed to be ended right there. As you can see, we can go into the face catches again. 
I really know how to lock down face catches. This game, I wasn't locking it down. Like, I wasn't doing it now, but I promise you guys, there will be updates to the defensive guide on how to stop um, face catches. And it's really, like, it's really simple. Like, even the caveman could do it. Like, it's really simple. Like, yo, the simplest shit ever, and you lock down fucking rock catches. But look at this playmaker, man. That was dope. He definitely had good pocket presence right there. Don't take nothing from the man right there. And shit. Now, look at this. I tried to call a timeout. First, I tried the audible, then I tried to call a timeout, and I couldn't call a timeout. I knew this was happening. I said it before the game. Before I said, yo, what if he comes out and squibs? And look, he got the ball. So right about now, I'm like, yo, this is bullshit. Like, I really have to fucking get it stop. Face catches, and he throws a pick, and it ends the game. So thank you guys for watching. Definitely pick up the guys if you guys haven't. I highly suggest it. Like, you guys will definitely start lighting up the scoreboard. You can milk, control the game run pass it's just endless amount of what you could do so the update for the guy should be out by tuesday because it's a lot i'm putting in there defensive guy how to stop face catches maybe another blitz or two so those of you guys stay tuned like the video until then it's your boy takeaway out peace